So, what do you think? Is it art or trash? I believe it's art. Why? I'll tell you in a second. So, why is it art, not trash? So what you see here is actually an experiment. An experiment that has been done in the ASME and in the AWS in the USA. And what people figured is, or what they, what they dealt with here, is how to perform, how to create discoloration in a controlled manner. What we actually figure when we're talking about discoloration during welding, it's, well, it's a product of inconvenience, let's say. It's something that we don't want, that we uh, certainly want to control, but where we are uh, depending on our, uh, let's say, concentrations, uh, oxygen levels, uh, material properties, etc. But what people did here is they tried to figure what kind of different discoloration levels can we achieve with a certain given oxygen level. And that's what you see here. And it's reaching from like pale yellow to a straw yellow to a brown coating in the center of the weld um, or even going into a blue direction. So what are the different oxygen levels? Certainly oxygen level, the darker the color, the higher the oxygen level. But is, are all these colors, let's say, harmful for your application in the same way or are there differences? And when you look, for example, at temperatures, a pale yellow you might even have with a temperature of roughly 200 C. A uh, light straw yellow is appearing at 400 C, this brown coating roughly 600 and when it gets blue it's even, it's even hotter so you will figure having it at roughly a thousand degrees Celsius. And when you again take these different levels of discoloration and figure how harmful is that for your process, how, um, how delicate is it then you will figure what you can do is, for example, measure a very little spot on these with a certain color behind it. And when you do that, you figure that, that's what you see in this curve that I show you here, uh, that the pitting potential level that you can measure, so how, yeah, let's say sensitive is your metal surface against uh, hydro, uh, chlorine induced pitting here, then you will figure that light straw and uh, pale yellow coloring is completely, let's say, uh, independent from the pitting potential level. So the pitting potential level at the base material with a given um, uh, passive layer on it, which is roughly 5 nanometers, is more or less the same as when you have like a 200 or 400 degree coating with a light or pale yellow coating on it. But what you can also see is that when you're reaching up to 600 degrees and you're reaching like a brownish coating behind it, you can see a massive decrease of the pitic potential level. So that's certainly then a very high increase of the uh, danger of getting corrosion to the material. And later on, when talking about temperatures of roughly 1000 degrees, then you can see an increase. But that's, I would say, more academic as um, it will not help you. Because when you have this 1000 degrees uh, discoloration and this blue level, you will at some point certainly have 600, 400 and 200 as well. So that wouldn't help you a lot. But when you figure that this pale or that this light straw uh, discoloration is actually not harmful to your product it's all, or to your process, it's also a very helpful 
understanding of what's going on. Um, because usually we are very sensitive towards this discoloration, but actually these results really prove that it's not harmful to your process. I hope I could show you a little bit or give you a little bit of an insight into how discoloration uh, can be measured, what it's doing and if it's harmful for your process or not. Certainly, please let us know if you have further questions on that. Stay tuned and stay healthy.